that have you ever seen the city and, and been through it yourself? Uh, and, you know, Putin is in this for the long haul, it seems like. Do you think he really has a long-range plan for all of this? I think he has a long-range plan, I, I, but his plan has been altered, and he has now had to shift that plan. And, and keep in mind that the reason that uh, Russia left uh, Ukraine, not to Ukraine, but uh, Afghanistan, uh, after 10 years of fighting in Afghanistan, in 1989, they left. Uh, and they left rather capriciously, and that was because they could no longer explain the, the body bags that were being sent home to Russian moms and dads, uh, and no one understood why their sons were dying. And that now you've got the same situation now. you got moms and girlfriends and wives and dads that are saying, what are we doing? What's happening? Why are we doing this? Because what you have is you have primarily a conscript army. And those young men didn't know what they were doing. They didn't know where they were going well, when they went up and marshaled on the borders. And now if you look at the, what, what they're telling the interrogators when they get captured or when they just surrender, which they're doing at, at record rates, uh, what they're telling them is we, didn't, we don't want a part of this fight. We're not, not up for this fight. We just want to go home to Mother Russia. And we were forced into the military by conscription, and this is not our fight as far as we're concerned. And a lot of this uh, war crimes and all that you're seeing is, is not coming from those Russian, young Russian men. It is actually coming from the Chechens uh, 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 that are being brought in as mercenaries. Ah. Wow. Ukraine is a beautiful city, and, and, and it's just been devastated it's 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 hard for me to watch and see the babies but being watch. killed and the mothers and the fathers and all and i believe as a result of this that uh and and, and by the way i just talked to a, a brilliant analyst yesterday about this i believe putin is is finished uh, when this is ultimately resolved and whatever that resolution is going to be i believe putin is finished i don't think he can survive i don't think the the people of Europe, uh, but more specifically, the people of, uh, of, of Russia are going to allow him to stay in power because once again, he's killing their sons, sending them home in body bags. He now has brought in incinerators, portable incinerators to, to burn the bodies of their own people. So they don't have to send them home in body bags. And the moms and the dads and the, and the people of Russia I think, are just about fed up with this. And by the way, don't believe the polls that you see. There, they, there is no such thing as a fair poll uh, being taken unless it, uh, it says exactly what the government wants it to say. And I, I heard of somebody the other day that said 83% of the people in, in, uh, Roscoe, uh, in Moscow were supportive of Putin. I do not believe that figure. This is all Russian propaganda.